So the other day, I was doing the usual, not contributing anything to society and pretending to read a book, when I suddenly stumbled across this quote from a famous racing car driver. He said, The most successful drivers I have met were good at adapting to different racing cars. I realized that to fulfill my dream of racing, I need to start to learn how to drive different types of cars. And I immediately knew what to do. So I ran over to my PC to order some stuff from Papa Bezos. This way, he can keep riding giant penis rockets into space while I practice my driving skills. And after asserting my dominance, I was shocked. It was exactly what I ordered. Welcome to Dumb Ways to Play Racing Games. So, a few weeks ago, Operator Drewski uploaded a video of him using his steering wheel to control a jet fighter. So, I thought I would return the favor by using a joystick in a racing game. I set up the controls as follows. Steering, throttle and brake combined, upshift and downshift. So at first, I wanted to try something that I am an expert at. Being a major threat to our society and public road safety. It was going all well, until someone appeared in my rearview mirror. And I couldn't believe it. It was my German cousin. We decided to do a little bit of racing, just like in the good old days. It was going all well, until another car appeared in my rearview mirror. At first, I couldn't figure out who this guy was, and after a few corners, I knew exactly who this guy was. It was my Japanese cousin. And of course, I could not let him defeat me. I mean, how can a tofu delivery driver be faster than a YouTuber that based his personality in a red shitbox from the 90s? The fight was on. I barely recovered from the crash when another car appeared in my rearview mirror. This time it was my Italian cousin. I managed to hold him off for a long time, but then I got bored and just left. So I took the fastest car on planet Earth, the Toyota Supra at least according to 12-year-old experts on the internet, and took it out for a spin on the drift track. As you can see, a joystick is actually not that bad. So is this really a dumb way to play racing games? <laughs> I wasn't sure yet, so I tried BeamNG, which is a game where driving is a bit harder. So to get used to the new game, I tried a car with wings at first. After my successful flight, I stole a police car and went for a cruise on the highway. But then, I realized that there was one more button that I did not check. At first, I was scared to press it, because it had a very threatening color to it. But after some hesitation, I finally did it. And to my surprise, it worked quite good, until I got a tire puncture. Terrain, terrain, pull up, pull up. Bank angle, bank angle, bank angle. Terrain, terrain, bank angle, pull up, pull bank up. Angle. Bank angle, bank angle, bank angle. Bank terrain, angle. terrain, pull up, bank up. Bank angle. Bank angle. Bank angle. Bank angle.
Okay, so hear me out. At first, I was not sure whether this mat would actually work with a PC, let alone a racing game, but I decided to stay cool and ordered it anyways. It came with a CD from Banana Digital, which is not a game that sounds very convincing. Plus, my PC has no CD port, so I did not get to play whatever was on the disc. Maybe that's for the better. Anyways, I plugged it in, accidentally became the average Twitch streamer, and finally, the moment of truth came. And to my surprise... <laughs> it worked! So I quickly assigned the controls in the following way. The throttle is this front arrow, then we have right, left, upshift, downshift, headlights, and of course, the horn. I couldn't wait to try it out. Joy filled my heart and I quickly went for a drive, which went quite okay. But I wanted something faster. Here is where the car hunt configurations come into play. Unlike the previous truck, this car has a manual transmission, so I had to learn how to shift. Unfortunately, I forgot to bind a key for the brakes. Okay, the fun is over. Now it is time to try my feet at drifting. I also became a trucker. Did you subscribe to Carmighty? No? Okay. No, did you? Oops, sorry. And a rather average race car driver. At least the pop-up headlights still work. God left me unfinished! And after months and months of practice, I can finally present to you the result of my hard work. A few months ago, I saw this guy from Poland called Bartosz Ostawowski. And yes, I know that Polish name sounds like a cat running across a keyboard. And I saw how he not only drives, but also drifts cars with his legs. Since he lost both of his arms in a motorcycle accident when he was 19 years old. Without thinking twice, I decided to try that too. First, with something easy, like picking up milk from the grocery store. This might actually look easy, but since I prefer to drive with rather strong force feedback, my feet were actually fighting the wheel pretty hard. It even led to some weird noises. But the biggest problem was the massive brain farts I had when I forgot where the brake pedal is. I also realized that using my hands to shift is cheating and that was unacceptable. So I started shifting with my legs. This proved to be another challenge. Uh. 
since I did not manage to get any milk, I went drifting, which went also quite okay. Then, I was ready for some track racing, so I picked the easiest car on the easiest track. And so, the unofficial Formula 1 Grand Prix of Poland was officially ready to go on the way. It is a beautiful afternoon here on the Nürburgring Nordsch Life, and we cannot wait to see how the championship unfolds in this final race of the season. Jigstar, please talk us through the starting grid. Okay, welcome to uh, the starting grid. Uh, this. Uh, it's the, the Barack Obama versus uh, he Heavy, aka Joe. Uh, he's thick. Uh, tiny. <laughs> versus uh, my wife left me in fourth. He's got a giant comical spoon. Uh, we're, we're expecting many laughs today. <laughs> Fuck, I couldn't read that. Uh, uh, some other blog. I don't know. This is too fast. I can, I can barely read this. Thank you, Jigsaw. Let's get this race started. Subscribe to my channel, I'm very homeless. So I've seen plenty of people using super expensive motion simulators which basically mimic the movement of real cars to some degree. As most of them cost quite a lot of money, I had to think of a solution. And after a little bit of research, I found out that a slave costs only around $90. So I bought one and instructed him to be a motion simulator. First, I wanted to try some rally. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Keep left of a 60, three left on cut. 30, slow six left long of a crest into turn sudden right. Keep left of the crest, into sudden, six right, into six left, very long, 100, slow, turn, open up and right, opens. And to my surprise, it was actually quite fun. Now I can kinda understand why people buy these motion waves. 30, four, and long. So for rally, it is definitely fun. But what about GT3 racing? I wanted to avoid another terrible injury after flipping my car, so this time I wore my seatbelt. And what about the motion rig? Just like in rally, it felt pretty good. So I can only recommend getting a slave. Use code MIGHTY for 30% off. But there's one more thing you need to know. Using this in BMG can result in serious injury. So I can't recommend it in games where I crash quite often. There is nothing like the wonderful smell of puke, beer, kebab and a hint of Red Bull in the morning. God, I love public transport. But here's the thing that motion simulators cannot do. Give you the sensation of smell and the feeling of the surroundings around you. Luckily, I just managed to build one and I expect it to be in your local stores very soon. It can simulate a lot of stuff actually, for example wind. <laughs> the 
vegetation. Backfire from the car ahead of you. The smell of burned rubber. The little drops of water when driving through puddles. The opponent that you just crashed into. Crashing into a snowbank. And probably the coolest feature, drowning. Thank you so much for watching until the end. While you are still here, I suggest you check out the horrible videos I make on my second channel. Once again, thank you and have a nice day. Cocaína.